Forum Internationale du Software Livre FISL, International Free Software Forum is an event sponsored by Associação Software Livre Org, Free Software Association, a Brazilian NGO that among other goals seeks the promotion and adoption of free software. It takes place every year in Porto Alegre, the capital of Rio Grande do Sul, the southernmost state of Brazil. The event is meant as a get-together of students, researchers, social movements for freedom of information, entrepreneurs, information technology it enterprises, governments, and other interested people. It is considered one of the world's largest free software events, harboring technical, political and social debates in an integrated way. It gathers discussions, speeches, personalities and novelties both national and international in the free software world. Topic. Event history On 30 July 1999, a group of public servants, professors, students and members of the academic community, members of user groups and other interested people, joined efforts to start the PSLRS Free Software Project of Rio Grande do Sul. The project's goals were to set up a network of labs in companies and universities devoted to the study of Linux and other free software. To build a consortium to publish books and manuals about free software, free programming languages and such. To massively promote free software, after lots of difficulties and delays, the first FISL happened on 4-5 May 2000 in the Noble Hall of UFRGS Rio Grande do Sul Federal University. The event was attended by 2,120 people, which also had the first WSL free software workshop with 19 works presented during the event. Among others, the first FISL had such notable attendees as Richard Stallman, writer of the New Manifesto and founder of the Free Software Foundation. Since then, the event has grown considerably in terms of visibility, influence and number of attendees. FISL 17 FISL 17 took place from July, 13 to 16, 2016, in the PUCRS Convention Center, Porto Alegre. There were 3,937 attendants. Topic FISL 16. FISL 16 took place from July 08 to 11, 2015, in the PUCRS Convention Center, Porto Alegre. There were 5,281 attendants. Topic FISL 15. FISL 15 took place from May 07 to 10, 2014, in the PUCRS Convention Center, Porto Alegre. There were 6,017 attendants. Topic FISL 14. FISL 14 took place from July 3 to 6, 2013, in the PUCRS Convention Center, Porto Alegre. There were 7,217 attendants. Topic FISL 13. FISL 13 took place from July, 25 to 28, 2012, in the PUCRS Convention Center, Porto Alegre. There were 7,709 attendants. Topic 
FISL-12 The 12th edition of the International Free Software Forum happened from June, 29 to July, 2, in 2011 and the main subject was, "...net neutrality", because it is believed that content must be equally accessible to every person with no interferences in online traffic. Following this edition's subject, a contest for choosing the event's logomark to be used in Fizzle's graphic work was carried out. Rafael Grecchi's work was chosen in an election between ASL's associates. Freedom as a subject also was present between various discussions, in an effort to contribute to technological and socio-cultural evolution of the country. It also aimed at offering to participants the opportunity to get updated in free software usage in many different areas. The event also offered attendance in many speeches and workshops in areas such as mobility, free software in education, robotics, free networks, free culture, digital inclusion and women in IT. Representatives of both RS and national public sector attend FISL every year, and strengthen their commitment to free software. Hence the participation of the then Brazilian President Luiz Inácio Lula da Silva, in 2009. In this edition, FISL hosted the presence of the Minister of Science and Technology Aloysio Mercadante, the RS Governor Tarso Genro and the Porto Alegre Mayor José Fortunati, the President of the Federal Data Processing Service, Marcos Mazzoni, the Manager of Technical Innovations of the Ministry of Planning Corinto MEF, the Secretary of Logistics and IT of the Ministry of Planning, Delfino Natal de Souza, the President of the RS Data Processing Company, Prosergs, Carlson Akistapas, the President of the Data Processing Company of Porto Alegre, PROCEMPA, Andre Imar Kulchinski, Federal Deputies Paulo Pimenta e Manuela de Vila, besides other authorities. Public hearing, the Minister of Science and Technology, Aloysio Mercadante participated in a public hearing with FISL organizers, people from the hacker transparency movement, developers from Ubuntu, Debian, Slackware and ODF among other groups, talking about how hackers can help increase government's transparency and technological development. FISL 12 in numbers Participants, 6.914 Brazilian states, 25 plus federal district countries, 13 users groups, 40 convoys, 58 tracks, 21 proposal submissions, 581 speeches, 352 speakers, 521 total traffic, 391 gigabytes wireless, 104 gigabytes traffic peak, 151 megabits per second max simultaneous hosts, 267 page views, 311. 922 sponsors, 28 solutions showed, 21 supporters, 6 exhibitors, 26 organization team people, 217. Topic. FISL 11 This edition's happened from 21 to the 24th of July 2010. It hosted a total of 7.511 participants, two, which circulated between the Free Solutions and Business Fair and FISL itself, attending speeches, workshops and debates. FISL 11 developed more than 500 activities, overcoming all previous editions. Innovation began with speech selection, which relied on the participation of registered people in order to choose them. This was also the first edition with translation to Libras Brazilian language of signals, aimed at the hearing impaired. The activities of the Free Culture Festival received a larger room, in an effort to broaden debates about knowledge sharing also in other areas of activity. Besides the record number of participants, 84 people helped build the largest free software event in Latin America together with organization teams. 
The presence of the traditional convoys and users groups from various parts of Brazil and abroad confirmed the success, year after year. Up to the last day of the forum, FISL 11 website had more than 2 million page views. Specialists in free software gave lectures in FISL 11 such as Linux International John Madog. Hall, developer John Phillips, Mozilla Foundation Executive Director Mark Sherman and Git Specialist Scott Chacon. FISL 10 This edition happened from 24 to 27, June, 2009, with names such as John Madog. Hall, Peter Sunda, creator of the famous torrent sharing site The Pirate Bay, with 8,232 registered participants, it was the largest edition ever. Three. The picture of President Lula hugging Peter Sunda shot by Mariel Zasso walked around all blogosphere. For OBS, in this year the event's name in form of versions was abandoned, and a normal running number scheme was adopted. Topic. FISL 9.0 The 2008 edition had more than 7,417 registered people coming from 21 countries 5. It became acknowledged by the presence of companies such as Sun Microsystems, Google and Intel and of personalities such as Linux International John Madog. Hall and Luis Suarez Potts from OpenOffice.org. The event was carried on at the PUCRS Convention Center PUCRS. Topic. FISL 8.0 The 2007 edition hosted the presence of companies such as Sun Microsystems, IBM and Intel and people like John Madog Hall from Linux International, Xorg's Keith Packard, Sun's Simon Phipps and Louis Suarez Potts from OpenOffice.org. It harbored 5,363 participants 6. The event happened at FIERGS Convention Center. 19 mobilizing activities to FISL 8.0 were carried on, among free software events, speeches, promotions, courses and institutional visits, between various Brazilian cities. Among the outstanding attractions it may be quoted the participation of the educational coordinator from OLPC one laptop per child at the UFRGS Laboratory of Cognitive Studies Leia Fagundes, who introduced a prototype of the laptop developed for public school children. Paul Singer National Secretary of Solidarity Economy at the Ministry of Work and Employment and Edgar Piccino, from the Institute of IT, Cabinet of the President of the Republic made a speech based on parallels between solidarity economy the development model of free software. In the panel. Digital Communication and the Building of the Commons, Viral Networks, Open Spectra and the New Ways of Regulation. The sociologist Sergio Amadeu da Silveira, journalist Gustavo Ginder and Intervoz's member Joao Brandt and John Madog Hall debated the deep changes that digital technologies impose to the telecommunications sector. Topic: <laughs> FISL 7.0 2006 edition happened from 19 to 22, April, and was marked by the presence of Richard Stallman and discussions around GPL v3. It is important to remark the discussions about digital inclusion, technical speeches about software usage and community meetings about communication and popular participation. More information can be found at the FISL 7.0 website. 
a total of 3.385 people 83, 82% men and 12, 67% women, 445 speakers, 119 journalists and 550 exhibitors. Speakers from 10 countries participated 7. Topic. FISL 6.0 The 2005 edition had more than 4.300 registered people, according to the official website. The integration of new modules to the management system takes place. They are called Grieve and Papers. In this year the events organization decides to abandon the Roman numbering system and adopt the version scheme, aiming at helping indigenous and maroons communities from Rio Grande do Sul, a fee of 3 reals, oo, about U1, 62 as of DEC 2011 was charged at registration. The funds gathered were used to buy food donated to these communities. In the events grid technical speeches, panels and cases in the banking, health, education, county management, hardware, networks and security areas were given, showing the strong evolution in applications that happened in the last years and trend analysis for the coming years. A total of 2.715 people 82.96% men and 13.54% women, 222 speakers, 298 scholars, 81 journalists, 500 exhibitors have been participated and about 4.400 people have been to the fair. 23 countries were represented 8. Topic. VFISL VFISL happened from 2 to 5, June, 2004 at PUCRS. The system papers comes up as an update to the old system. In the 2004 edition, the forum gathered representatives from more than 35 countries, all the Brazilian states plus the federal district. More than 300 speakers, 1.014 companies and institutions and 4.854 people. Topic. IVFISL The IVFISL happened at the PUCRS Convention Center from 5 to 7, June, 2003, in Porto Alegre. With more than 4.000 people registered and the presence of famous speakers such as Sergio Amadeu then ITI President, Presidency of Brazil and Miguel de Acasa Gnome Foundation, the event had as a main subject use of free software in the private and public sector. It was the first edition to use an exclusive system for event management, called YES. Eventos. Topic. 3 FISL The 2002 edition happened from 2 to 4, May, at the PUCRS Convention Center. Main subjects were use of free software in the public sector, testimonies and case studies about free software use in companies, tech tutorials and debates about free software diffusion in universities. Topic. 2 FISL The second edition of FISL took place from 29 to 31, 2001 at the Federal University of Rio Grande do Sul. The official opening ceremony was led by the Governor of Rio Grande do Sul and had the attendance of the President of the RS Deputy Assembly, UNESCO, Mayors, Universities and NGOs. The main speech was about software license and freedom, from Timothy Ney, Free Software Foundation Executive, USA.
Other subjects were private and corporate security, free software use in the armed forces and popular computers. IFISL The first edition of FISL happened from 4 to 5 May 2000, at the Federal University of Rio Grande do Sul The main activities were case studies of free software use and free software concepts. Topic. Speakers Among others, founders and important members of great free software projects that have spoken at FISL Ralph Nolden, maintainer of KDE's K Develop IDE, Amir Taki, Bitcoin developer and founder of Bitcoin Consultancy, John Madog Hall, Executive Director of Linux International Larry Wall, creator of the Perl programming language Peter Salas, author of A Quarter Century of Unix and The Demon, The New and The Penguin Rick Van Riel, Linux kernel developer Timothy Ney, GNOME Foundation Executive Director The Seventh Forum Internationale Software Livre happened from 19 to of April. More than 5,000 attendees registered attending. The speakers included Keith Packard Miguel de Acaza Marcelo Tosati Jim Geddes Jim McQuillan Richard Stallman Georg Grieve Aaron Sago Zach Razin The second international GPLv3 conference was held in conjunction with FISL on April 21 and 22.